Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 4 on functions. In this lecture, we will discuss about bijective functions. We have already discussed about one-to-one -one and onto functions in previous two lectures. So we just recall that suppose we have a function of x then this function of x which is a function from a to b is called one to one if distinct elements have distinct images that is x is not equal to y implies f of x is not equal to f of y for all possible values x y in the domain of f which is capital A and onto means for every element of the codomain there exists at least one element in the domain such that fx equal to y if this happens then function f is called onto function in other words f is onto if range of the function is equal to codomain of the function now in this lecture we are going to discuss bijective functions so a function is said to be bijective if it is one to one as well as on to bijective functions are those functions which are one one and on to so if you have understood one one and on to function you can easily check whether given function is bijective or not a function f from a to b is called one to one on to another word is bijective if it is both one to one and on to bijective function is also known as one to one correspondence between given sets a and b or a bijection so we consider one example in which we are given a function from a b c d set containing these four letters a b c d to set containing these four numbers 1 2 3 4 and function is defined as value of function at a equal at a is 4 value of function at b is 2 value of function at c is 1 and value of function at d is 3 we are asked to check whether function is bijective or not is f bijective so we will try to answer this and uh, now we know that function is bijective if it is one to one and on to so first we check whether given function is one to one or not so for that because we are having finite sets uh, we can represent them using venn diagrams in one circle i take elements of set a these elements are a b c and d in another circle uh, we consider another elements elements of another set which is b we consider this set equal to a and this set is denoted by b elements of b are 1 2 3 and 4 and we are given that image of a under function f is 4 so we consider arrow from a to 4 image of b under function f is 2 so we consider this image of c under f is 1 and image of d is 3 so now function is 1 to 1 if distinct elements have distinct images so it is obvious from this uh, figure that no two elements are having the same same images we can see that image of a is 4 image of b is 2 image of c is 1 and image of d is 3 so if we take any two elements of set a then their images are different so this function is 1 to 1 so we can write that clearly distinct elements and before writing this we have to mention that uh, we consider this notation for the domain of a function which is set having a b c d so we denote set having these elements a b c d by a and uh, b denotes this set which is domain of codomain of the function 1 2 3 and 4 and uh, we can write that clearly distinct elements of 
set a which is domain of the function clearly distinct elements of set a have distinct images in set b distinct images in set b which is codomain of the function therefore by definition we can say that function f is one to one or injective now we check for ontoness for onto function we have to check that for every element in the codomain there exists some element in the domain whose image is that element i have to check that for every y in the codomain there exist at least one x in the domain such that fx equal to y so we start one by one we can check for one so for one there exist c in the domain such that f of c equal to one two is also image of b so we can say that for two belongs to b there exist b in a such that f of b equal to two similarly for three in codomain there exist d in the domain such that f of d equal to three and this four is the image of this element a of domain so we can say that for every element of set b there exists some element in set a such that this condition is satisfied so we can write in that way uh, for each element or each element of codomain each element of codomain each element of codomain which we have denoted by b is the image of some element of domain which is denoted by set a therefore function f is on to so we have shown that function f is one to one and function f is on to so we can write that thus function f is one to one and on to and the function which is one to one and on to is called bijective therefore given function is bijective function our question was is f bijective the answer is yes function f is a bijective function because it is one to one as well as on to so in this way we can decide whether given function is bijective or not we have to decide whether it is one to one or on to now whenever we have finite sets having same number of elements here we can observe that uh, we have two finite sets set a which is having four elements set b having four elements so whenever we have a function from one finite set to another finite set here f is a function from set a to set b and number of elements in both the sets are equal here number of elements in set a as well as set b are four and say because number of elements are finite both the sets are finite so whenever we have a function from one finite set to another finite set and if number of elements in both the sets are same a and b are finite with number of a equal to number of elements in b then uh, we have one result which says that if f is one to one then it is automatically on to so function f from a to b is one to one if and only if it is on to so remember this result if you have two finite sets with same number of elements then you can directly say that 
if function is one to one then it is on to here we have that say that situation number of elements in both the sets are four that is equal number of elements in both the sets and we find that function is one to one as well as on to so if we have this type of situation then we can directly decide we can check either one to one or on to property and if we have number of elements in domain and codomain are equal then we can say that if f is one to one it is on to and if f is on to it is one to one so that i have written as a note here suppose that f is a function from a to b where a and b are finite sets with same number of elements then f is one to one if and only if f is on to now we consider another example in which we consider a function from infinite set to infinite set here f is a function from r to r and r is the set of real numbers so here i have to check whether this function is bijective or not function is given by fx equal to 2x plus 1 for x belongs to r so first we write down the definition of function here fx is equal to 2x plus 1 x is a real number x is in the domain which is set of real numbers so first we check whether this is one to one or not so for that we are using this uh, uh, condition we know that function f is one to one if fx equal to f of y implies x equal to y for any x y in the domain of f so we consider any two arbitrary real numbers let x y be any two elements of the domain of f here domain and codomain are equal and we assume that fx equal to fy so fx equal to fy this implies fx is given by 2x plus 1 and uh, fy will be equal to 2y plus 1 so now i can consider this uh, 2y plus 1 on this side and i have this is equal to 0 and uh, this gives me 2x minus 2y equal to 0 we can take 2 common and it can be cancelled out because it is non zero and this implies x equal to y now x and y are arbitrary numbers in the domain so this is true for all possible values of x and y so we can write that thus if fx and fy are equal then x and y are also equal for all values of x and y in the domain so this means if images are equal then elements cannot be distinct in other words if x and y are different fx and fy are also different therefore function f is one to one now we check whether this function is on to or not so for that uh, we use the definition of on to we take arbitrary element in the codomain let y belongs to r uh, which is codomain of the function domain and codomain are same let y belongs to r be any element of the codomain let y belongs to r and we don't know whether y will be the image of some element of domain or not but we assume that suppose y is the element in the codomain such that y equal to fx for some x in the domain of given function so we start by assuming that suppose function is on to then for any element of the codomain there exists some element in the domain such that y equal to fx now if this is true then we will be able to decide value of x from the domain here x is in the r and in the bracket i write domain so if there exists some element x 
such that y equal to f x, then we will be able to find out the value of x from this. So therefore, y equal to f x is given by 2x plus 1. Here I write 2x plus 1. Therefore, 2x equal to y minus 1. Therefore, x equal to y minus 1 divided by 2. And I have to check whether this x is in the domain or not. Domain is set of real numbers. So I have to check whether y minus 1 by 2 is a real number or not. Now y is real number because it is from the set of real numbers. Therefore y minus 1 is also a real number. And we know that 2 is also a real number and 2 is not 0. So this is also a real number. So x is in the domain. Whatever x we have obtained, this is in the domain of given function. So whatever y I will consider, its image will be x equal to y minus 1 by 2. And this y is arbitrary. So we can say that hence for any y in the codomain, hence for any y in the codomain, there exists x equal to y minus 1 by 2 here r is domain such that we find out fx fx equal to value of x is y minus 1 by 2 fx is given by 2x plus 1 instead of x we have y minus 1 by 2 plus 1. Now 2 will cancel out and we have y minus 1 plus 1 that is y. So for every y in the codomain there exists some element x equal to y minus 1 by 2 in the domain such that fx equal to y. Therefore our function f is on 2. So it is on 2 also and it is 1 to 1. Therefore, function is 1 to 1 and on to. Therefore, f is 1 to 1 and on to. Therefore, we can say that function f is bijective. So, this is another example of bijective function from one uh, infinite set to another infinite set. And this was the example of bijective function from finite set to finite set. We consider one more example of bijective function. For that we define one function. Uh, we consider a function from set A to A defined as fx equal to x for every x in the domain. Domain and codomain are same. And that function is defined in this way, image of each element is the element itself. And domain and codomain are also same. So the function which sends x to x or the function under which image of each element is that element itself, that function is known as identity function. And that identity function is denoted by i suffix a. a is the set on which function is defined and its domain and codomain are always same and it is given by i suffix a of x equal to x. Image of x is x itself. So whenever we have identity function it is always on to because we can understand in this way Suppose I have set A and codomain as set A, image of X is X itself and both the sets are equal. So different elements will have different images and for every element here, it will be the image of that element itself. So it is going to be onto also. So remember that identity function is trivial example of bijective function. Let capital A be any set. The identity function on A is the function 
denoted by i suffix a from a to a and it is given by i a x equal to x for every x in the domain the identity function i a is one to one and on to therefore it is always bijective function okay, so in this way we can easily decide whether given function is bijective or not another words for bijective are one to one correspondence or a bijection so remember these different words also so this is all about this session in this session we have discussed about bijective function so i stop here thank you